Hi guys, welcome to Foreplay. Diggs here again with another Teppan video. Today I'm showing you my new Morrigan deck. It's uh, using the Shadow Blade Hero Art. It's a lot of the new Day of Nightmares cards as well. Really enjoying it. So, hope you do too. Thanks for watching. Okay everyone, so usual stuff here, give you a quick overview of the deck and we'll go through some of the key cards. So like I say, it's using the new Day of Nightmare cards and the crux is with a lot of them is they're all based around the 4 MP cards. So if you've got 4 MP cards in your hand or on the field, you have different effects. And we've got Devil, Hunt, Devil Hunter Dante in there because he's awesome. Um, and also Tigrex as well, really, really powerful card, can be extremely helpful. So we, uh, we have him there for good fun and obviously brainwashed. To me, that's a staple of a pure purple deck. It's got to be in there. It's, it's ridiculously helpful. Um, so another four pack cards. Got Lupo, as you see there, gains plus two, plus four. If you've got a purple unit in your hand or X pocket with four MP, and then four eyes, basically take control of an enemy creature with less than four life. If you've got another four MP card on the field, and then returns an MP cost of four enemy card to their hand. If you've got another four MP card on the field, and we've got Bertha, which is a resonate gives life every time you play a spell card to your four MP cards. And then Vector, which gets plus one, plus three, and is unblockable. So, like I say, a lot of four MP cards in there to uh, overpower your opponent. So we go straight into the first fight here. Nice X charge shot deck, who has also been beefed up by the uh, the new update as well, which is good. I do like Mega Man, so it was a shame before. You couldn't really get much done with him at the high rank, so it's good that they've given him some... Some new cards. Oh, and he's got some purple cards in his deck as well. It's new. That's new on me. I've not seen a purple green deck, so this could be fun. So, like I say, it's all about the uh, the four MP cards. I only got one in my hand at the moment, which is Trish, which is a resonate card. Gets plus one, plus one. So we'll uh, we'll keep her for a little bit later in case we need to need a four MP card on the field to play a different one to activate its effect. So we'll hold on to Trish. Get old Devil Hunter Dante out there. Oh, it's with a seal straight away. That's frustrating. One thing you will find playing this deck, or certainly that I've found, is that you'll get a lot of wins just by simply frustrating your opponent into into just giving up. There's a, a lot of time when, when I'm playing this deck, people just surrender halfway through because they're just sick of cards being taken, returned to their hand, whatever the case may be. They just get so frustrated, they just give in and just surrender, which is uh, always good. We like that. People just giving up, giving us the easy win. So as you can see there, Lupo was a uh, fairly standard card, but because I've got a 4 MP card, Trish in this case, in my hand, she gets plus 2, plus 4, and all of a sudden it's a 3-8 instead of a like a 1-4 or whatever it was before. And there you go. Really powerful card there. She's given him an auto heal. So we'll, we'll have that, I think, hit him with the brainwash. <laughs> but we should save that seal now. Oh, yeah, there you go. As I say, a lot of people surrendering. Can't blame him, to be fair. That card that he played, I can't remember what it was called. I want that in this deck. I just haven't got enough to craft it. So we'll go straight on to here. Another Wesker deck. Again, since the update, a lot of Wesker decks I'm finding. More than uh, more than there was previously. Which is uh, not necessarily a bad thing. I do like Wesker. Just speeding this up here, not much happening. So this is one of the things you could do with this deck. Card there returns cards that cost 4 MP or less to the hand. So if you get it at the right time... As you saw there, just got a quick uh, quick two damage in. Keep my creature safe. That's what we like. Yeah, we, if I do eventually get that uh, that legendary card that was played in the Mega Man deck, I can't recall its name offhand, it'll probably be Devil Hunter Dante who'll be coming out. He's in there for now just because he's uh, he can be quite helpful. He's um, certainly not a bad addition to the deck. Um, and I'm a big fan of Dante in general, so we'll throw him in there. Even though the Devil Trigger on that card, the artwork's not great, but We'll have it. So, as you can see, a lot of... Because uh, it's a purple deck, got a few counter spells in there. There's one. Which is extremely, extremely well-timed for me because it requires you to have monsters on the field. And obviously, we've got six there, so it can counter a card up to six MP. Which is extremely handy. So he's going to destroy Dante, but that's fine. What I was hoping for, really, is to uh, to get brainwashed out, so... If he does get rid of Dante, I can brainwash his, uh, <laughs> his nemesis or whatever that card is that's got combo and agility. Not a fan of that, but Dante gets rid of him, so that'll do. That'll do the trick. 
And then, like, you see there? So you've cleared the field. So now he's got uh get the tig Tigrex down. It's, yeah, a quick eight damage. Hit him with the Shadow Blade, which, again, before this deck, I thought it was a completely pointless skill. I thought it was just a terrible version of uh, Ryu Sadukin. But since building this deck, it does become quite helpful when you've got a have cards below certain HP to activate their their skills. It's a, and obviously it gives you life as well. It has become really handy. I've tried it with um, their other spells, like the Hulk spells and things like that. It's just not nowhere near as powerful. It's all about Shadow Blade. Works perfectly with this deck. I have to admit, I thought he'd be uh, he'd be given up by now, but he's uh, he's plugging away. Fair play to him. Not giving in. Can't fault him for trying, I suppose. It's frustrating, though. So, so yeah, there it is again. Shadow Blade. Get rid of his creature. And then we've got that Resonate card there. So every time you play a spell, assuming you've got a creature that costs 4 MP, it's purple out. It gives all your other creatures plus 2, plus 2. Oh, no, sorry, just plus 2 health. My, my mistake. Again, really helpful. We, we like that a lot. Yeah, this would have caused me problems, but again, counter spell. A lot of people are not overly keen on that counter spell because it halves your health. So I've cost myself 10 HP there to counter that. But to be honest, I think that's probably sealed me the win. He stopped from playing him a powerful spell card. Take a four life away. I've still got two creatures. He's got no creatures. Put another one in. So now we're getting given all of our creatures plus two health every time we play a spell. And the the one in the middle there, Lupo. Or no, four eyes, I think that is. My apologies. She's getting plus four HP because there's two two of them out. That's what we like. Again, can't can't hate on him. He's a uh, he really is trying to <laughs> to get the win. Can't fault him for it, but at this point, it's just like just just give in. Just let let me have the win. Take that back. So he's not. Although it wouldn't have mattered too much. We'd only done five damage spread across them both, but I'd rather keep them both full health and then get the. Uh, Give him the boost as well, playing my spell card. And that hopefully should be all she wrote. There we go, pick up another win. Moving right along to the next duel. Yet another Wesker deck, as I say. Loads of these decks around at the moment since the update. People have been bang on Weskers, it seems, at the uh, in the A ranks and the uh, the champion ranks. It's all about Wesker and uh, and Morrigan. I understand Morgan still haven't cracked a really good Wesker deck yet with the new cards. Keep plugging away. So as you see there, I've got they've got a creature with four M, uh, sorry four HP, and I had a creature that costs four MP, so we can steal his creature, and that gives us a nice revenge creature as well. So when it dies, it goes back into the deck with the revenge active. We like that. And our Devil Joe there is going to. Uh, Always causes problems, especially with the Ouroboros. Obviously, because he's got it in his hand already, now now in his graveyard already. Every time he uses Ouroboros, that'll be what's coming out. I'm trying to do a quick six damage. We'll have to be uh, be cautious of that later on in the fight. Putting those creatures back in his hand. Like I say, it can be extremely frustrating for your opponent every time they play a card. I think they're bought themselves some time and you just put it straight back in their hand it can be <laughs> can be really disheartening and a lot of people do just give up which is bad for them but good for us so I'm just going to let our MP build up a little bit there we go so this is going to be Devil Joe again like I say it's coming out every single time he uses it but I've got a life point safe still so not too fast mm, yeah so if we stick him down, get the two damage, and then we can hit him with the Shadow Blade. Shadow Blade is also good against creatures with flying as well, because it does an extra two damage, and then in turn gives us an extra six life. So against them, um, Rathalos decks, or decks with a lot of flying cards in, even more useful. Just plugging away at his life points here, slowly but surely. Keeping us safe. Although... Again, the thing with Wesker decks is that they get more and more powerful as the fight goes on. Obviously, with all those revenge cards in his hand, they're going to start coming out soon, I would imagine. But uh, should be right there, yeah, down to four life now. I think he's probably going to be in some trouble here. No, he doesn't, need, doesn't even try and stop it. We get another win. 
And I think that sticks us into the champion ranks. Sure does. Lovely stuff. So we'll have a, have a fight in the champion ranks, see how we get on against the, against the Ryu deck here. Not a bad opening hand. Just let the MP build up, speed it up a touch. Ooh, beefing up his damage already, so we'll uh, throw one of them back into his hand right off the bat. Like I say, it's frustrating for people. So obviously when you're playing a red deck, especially a Ryu deck, you need to be careful about putting cards back in their hand because a lot of them activate when they're played. So you don't want to let, put them back in the hand and let them have another go, another bite of the apple. All right with the first one because that doesn't have an effect that activates when it's played. But obviously that, that one he played second. Oh, killing all, all three of my creatures. Outrageous. It, yeah, that, we didn't want that to go back into his hand. And it is a random effect, so you just got to be be careful when, when you're playing it. In a pretty good position with this hand, I should imagine. Get rid of that. Shadow Blade it away. Saved. Do you like to hold on to Shadow Blade if you can, when using it when you've not got full health, but don't want that card out for too long. It's too uh, too risky against the against Ryu deck. Increasing his damage just does enough as it is. Don't want him to have more. But that's uh, that's not a bad thing going there. Three, well, we're we slightly under a 312 after that. Oh, no, didn't do any damage to him. Happy days. So, yeah, 312 were flying. That'll do. Yeah, not not surprised he did that. Although, uh, personally, I probably would have got rid of his... Uh, oh, that, that makes sense, yeah. I'd say I would have got rid of the creature at the top, but now I see why he didn't. I want to get another resonate out before he kills it. Bit of a waste. That his creature was going to die anyway, but at least we give our, our other two creatures plus two life before that one goes. So a little bit further along in the duel here, so it's just uh, me been plugging away at his life, letting the MP build up. Nothing exciting happening. I don't know if he's miscalculating those <laughs> those Hadoukins or whether he just wants him to get that get him down to one M uh, one HP rather, but. Seemed like a little bit of a waste, but that's good for me. And so we've got the brainwash there in case he plays anything uh, particularly powerful, like a fate defying Ryu or a that Rathalos. It does five damage to a creature every time it deals damage to your life. Not wanting to be running around one of them, so. So just going to speed this up a touch. So it's just a lot of uh, building up MP and uh, him dropping down creatures, dealing damage directly to mine, trying to kill him off. Um, Ugh. Don't lose both of them. We'll try, try and direct two damage onto Triss and keep. Oh, that works. Yeah, that works. Treat, keep my unblockable creature alive for uh, getting that that last bit of two damage. And then also, there you go. Use four eyes to steal his creature as well. Yeah. So that should be if we time this correctly. Straight back to his hand. Get the four damage in before he can get another creature out, and we pick up the win in the champion rounds. As always, guys. QR codes here. Thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions, give us a shout.